Well, imagine if a day at the office meant cruising in upwards of 140 miles per hour, 10 feet above the ground, while at the same time managing to avoid power lines, trees, and even farm animals for that matter. For some, just the thought of it makes them uneasy. That's why being an ag pilot takes special training and a special individual. They're a little bit daredevilish. Nowadays, at the cost of the aircraft that we fly, up to a million six hundred thousand dollars a piece, you are not a daredevil anymore. You're a businessman. And if you don't treat it that way, you don't need to be in the business. For 30 years now, Billy Howell has owned and operated Ag Flight Pilot Training LLC, located at the Decatur County Airport in Bainbridge, Georgia. A retired crop dusting veteran himself, Howell says the demand for ag pilots is at an all-time high. The reason? Simple attrition, according to Howell. What's happened in the industry all of us old ones that's been in the business 30 and 40 years, we all got old at the same time. And you take, there's about 3,000 ag pilots that work in the United States during the season. 65% of them are 69, 70, 71, 72 years old. Even though there's no restrictions on age, as long as you can pass the physical, you can fly. People don't understand that without ag pilots or the availability of the ag pilots and the airplanes, there'd be an immediate 60% loss in the amount of food products that could be produced. And there'd be mass starvation all over the world. Considered one of the top ag flight schools in the world, Howell's training program offers more than just an education in flying. It more or less allows students to live, eat, and breathe the pilot lifestyle. In addition to classroom work, which focuses heavily on agriculture, students also have access to dorm rooms and apartments, amenities that are included in the cost of the school. More importantly, though, future pilots are trained in a timely manner and find themselves working sooner rather than later. We've got 16 aircraft, all of them a tail wheel but three. We don't ever take over eight or nine students at the time. So you don't have to sit around and wait for your time to fly like, like a lot of these schools, the airline schools, takes them two or three years to go through school and they get out and they hire them at $18,000 a year. I've had people go through my school in three to four months, get out, go to work, make $90,000 the first season and that's six months out of the year. It hadn't happened just a few times, it happens all the time. All right, so you've toured the facility, you've met all the instructors, you like what you see on the ground, but how do you know if being an ag pilot is still for you? Only one way to find out, and that's get off the ground. You see, even before stepping foot in a classroom, every potential student of Howell's is offered a complimentary test ride. Truth be told, Billy says it's a good old fashioned gut check. Bottom line, if a person can't handle the test flight, they may want to think long and hard about being an ag pilot. I don't care who they are, if I walk in here with the money in the hand, I want to take them for a ride and show them what we're going to teach them. And this answers two questions for me because my people are so experienced. They know right this time you snap your finger when they start flying. Are they scared of it? Do they really want to do this for a living? And when one goes out and does that, we know. He come walking back across here, coming back in the office, he'd be walking about this high up off the ground because he found something that he really likes. <laughs> but it's, it's just, uh, you know, I was voted least likely to teach anybody anything and wound up on the school for 30 years. That's amazing to me. Huh. <laughs>